So The Plot Like Gravy Thickens is a play that is a murder mystery where all the characters are at a dinner party for the uh, main character, Edward Worthington, um, and then one of them gets murdered, and then in the second act, um, the detective tries to figure out who did it while all the other characters accuse each other. So my character is Edith, she's the maid. Um, she's really there for the subplot of the show. Um, she is attracted to um, the main character's wife's brother, and um, she is really polite and she tries to help everyone, but she is very opinionated, but she has to keep to herself about it. I had three different roles that I originally tried out for, and Edith was one of them that I wanted, and I was really drawn to the show because I've been involved in theater every year of high school. I'm a junior, so this is my sixth show at the high school. And I was really excited to do a murder mystery because I haven't been in one of those before. This is only my second play because all the other ones were musicals. Um, but I just thought the plot was really unique, especially since there's a lot of audience interaction. And so it just seemed like a really fun show to try out for. I think my favorite part about my role in the show is just that I get to explore a side of me that I wouldn't usually be and um, interact with people in a way that I usually wouldn't. The most challenging part of this process so far has just been um, all of us being so busy. We are all, everyone in the show is involved in so many different activities, both drama related, fine arts related, literally anything. <laughs> so there's just a lot of difficulties finding time to work with each other, work on the technical aspects of the show. Just, we all work together really well. I think my favorite part of the process of the show would probably be um, working with each other, just exploring how we can all interact differently on stage than we would in real life. And it's really fun to experiment with that. I think I've grown a lot in these past three years in high school theater. Um, I've gotten a lot more confident in my acting abilities and portrayal of roles. And I've really, I've gained friends through the theater department. It's where all of my relationships come from. It's where all of my growth comes from. I think people should be involved in theater at the high school because it's really a big family. The whole drama department is one big family and everyone supports each other so much and we all really just work together and help each other through things, whether it's stress about a role that you're trying to memorize for or just stress with your busy schedule. And everyone just really supports each other. I think people should come watch our show because it's a great way to support the kids in your community. It's a great way to support kids' passion and I know a lot of the kids that are in the show are going to go to college for theater or are planning on doing it in some form in the future. And it's just a great way to help out your local kids. I play Tony Blackwell. He's the main character's wife's brother. Um, basically, he's a playboy and he just kind of starts some trouble in the play. And I play Lawrence Tate, who is um, the main character's personal lawyer, who gets into some shady stuff and um, really is not someone to really root for, but it's a really fun role. Uh, why did I try out? Because um, I love performing. It's always been one of my favorite things to do uh, since I was a little kid. It's, it's just such a fun thing to get to meet fun people in the cast like AJ, create a bond with other actors and directors, stage managers even, and my character is just such a fun character to play and I've had a blast throughout the process. Um, well, this is my senior year. Um, I've been involved in theater for pretty much all of my time here in high school, but um, I've always had backstage roles. Well, for my senior year, I was convinced to try out for the play, and um, getting a part has been exciting. I've gotten to meet a lot of new people kind of in different ways than I have before being only backstage and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun getting to um, adapt to um, a whole different world of theater. Um, and what really brings me to my character is I've been involved in mock trial for the last six years. So being able to portray a lawyer when I've already kind of done that before is 
pretty uh, natural for me to do. Well, Tony is not a very good guy. Um, he kind of does some things that are not so honorable. Um, like he flirts with the maid and does stuff like that. Um, he's a really fun role though because like you get to portray someone that's not you. And the thing about Tony is that he's just, he's just such a bad guy. Like he makes all these mean jokes left and right behind people's backs and he's just like manipulates people. And it's, it's I don't want to say it's a lot of fun, but you know, doing it fake is a lot of fun, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd say what's just kind of most fun is um, Lawrence is a pretty uh, stereotypical, like, evil lawyer. Um, he's, again, he doesn't have many, like, redeeming qualities. Um, but it's, it's kind of fun to play someone who is kind of a punching bag at times because um, he's kind of full of himself. And it, it's really fun to kind of balance that off of things. And, yeah, it's become a lot of fun. Something that's been challenging for me is like trying to get schedules to fit with the play and being in all these other activities like tennis, mock trial, and keeping up with your schoolwork too. Um, and then again, just outside stuff like finding rides to rehearsal, finding a way to eat dinner, because it's a long process and it's a lot of fun, but it can be a lot of work too. But if you're up to it and if you put in the work, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I would have to mostly agree with a lot of that. Just be, ha, being so busy and having to um, find time to do all this is difficult. But then I think it's added on for me too because this is my first time doing this. Um, it's been really kind of a shock to have to now uh, be able to memorize all of this stuff, have to um, just go through all of the processes that for mo many people is like common knowledge at this point. But, but for me, it's brand new stuff. So it's been a little difficult, but I've loved doing it. I kind of have two. Uh, one of my favorite things about the process is, you know, getting to hang out with all the people that are involved, getting to socialize with the other actors and become more familiar with them. Because, like, it's high school and you get to meet new friends and it's a lot of fun, like AJ here. Um, and I'd say performing, like the performance nights when you get to, like, show people what you've been working on is really fun, too. I'd say the process that we're currently in has been my favorite so far because now we've pretty much got it all down, but now it's really just kind of playing it out and seeing um, what little things can be tweaked, what um, is going well, and really just seeing it all come together after a pretty short amount of time. It's, it's really cool to see. Some of us, this is our first play. Some of us, we've been in a lot of plays, but no matter like how many plays you do, you still get to learn new things about yourself and how you can portray a character and be on stage, and I think that's a valuable thing. Yeah, I think really just getting to um, know a lot of these people who I've kind of known um, for these last few years, getting to really um, get to interact with them a lot more it has just been it's been a great experience for me, um, especially with um, a lot of like the freshmen, um, who really I probably would not have as much interaction with if I, if I wasn't involved. And it's it's fun to just kind of go through that. If you can't find anything in high school that's for you, theater is always a great option. I've seen so many people that come into high school and they're all like, they're just um, really surprised and having trouble finding a spot where they fit in, and theater offers a lot of that, even if it's just backstage helping out with tech or building sets, or if it's on stage acting and singing. There's something for everyone, and theater has a lot of spots. And if you want to join theater, then I think you should. I, I would absolutely agree with that. Um, there's a place for everybody in theater, and um, if, if like you can't find something to do in theater that you would enjoy, I'd, I'd be kind of surprised because, like I said, there's something for everybody, um, no matter what your skill set is, no matter your experience, no matter like how much of it you've done in the past. Um, anyone can come in and do very well in the program, and the people in the program are always just so supportive, and at, we'll all welcome you in. It's, it's a very fun uh, program for everybody. To start it off, it's a really fun play. It's not super serious, and there's lots of like comedic moments. Uh, it's an enjoyable watch. Like it's decent length, but it feels like it's not. Like it goes by really quick. 
Um, a lot of us have worked really hard on this. We've spent hours and hours. And I think when people come watch us perform, not only do they get to have a good time like watching the show and seeing friends and family, but it makes us feel good because we have someone to perform to. Yeah, I would say definitely come to this show because it's one of those shows that it doesn't take itself very seriously. And I think that's um, kind of a major difference from some of the plays that have been put on because a lot of them like really try to be serious or like the comedy is like kind of subtle. This, it's just all right at you. And it's, it's fun to kind of see the interactions between people who like every character has like their different um, like archetype that they follow and seeing like some clash that usually wouldn't clash really is just a very enjoyable and funny thing to uh, see and I think anyone can get enjoyment out of this show. I am the stage manager for the Polly like Gravy Thickens and I'm essentially in charge of everything moving backstage. I really enjoy the leadership aspect of my job. It makes me, you know, I like seeing everyone grow as a human being while during the show process. Um, I've been the stage manager once before for a previous fall production of Matilda. Otherwise, I have ASM'd a couple of other shows, which is assistant stage managed a couple of our shows in the past around here. The biggest challenge I have is being a peer to some of the people that I'm in charge of. Um, it's hard to draw the line of being a peer and also being in charge of others. My favorite part of the process um, definitely is watching the show because it's like, oh, that's my piece of work that I've worked on. I'm glad it's looked good. I find that I'm a lot more patient after every show because there's always a good test of patience along the way and you always come out on the end a better person. Um, it's a great family environment and everyone always ends up feeling very involved. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy the comical side of the show, but also the murder mystery. So that's probably just the overall aspect of the show is my favorite part. So my character's name is Mrs. Vickers, and she's the housekeeper. And my character fits into the play because she's just, she's not even just a background character. She has such a, like, she has a personality that you'll sit there and you'll be like, you can pick her out from everybody else. My character's name is Allegra Worthington, and she is the wife of Edward Worthington III, which is the man that gets murdered in the play. Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> but she fits into the play because she's a very fierce, feisty woman that gets whatever she wants and will do whatever she can to get there. So I tried out for the play because, believe it or not, in my four years of doing the speech and drama, this is my first actual play because my play my freshman year got canceled because of COVID and then we've had a whole bunch of random things and all that business. But what drew me to my character and my audition is I feel like I relate to my character pretty well because she is titled as outspoken and I wouldn't really call myself outspoken but I feel like I can channel that outspoken sometimes. I tried out for the spring play this year because a lot of my friends were trying out and I've never actually done a play at Spencer High School before so I wanted to get that experience and what drew me to the role of Allegra Worthington is I just love the fierceness that she had and I have never had a character that had that kind of personality so I wanted to try it out and I'm loving it. I love playing Allegra. <laughs> what I like best about my role is that she is always has smart comebacks and is always looking at everybody and it's kind of a judgy gal but it's kind of hard to channel that energy because I'm not really a judgy person like that but it's fun to be able to get that persona in me. What I like best about the role of Mrs. Vickers is that she's just a character that you, I don't even know how to describe her because she's just there's a few moments where, like, with um, Julia's character, Allegra, that she just does smart little comebacks and whatever, because Allegra is technically her boss, but not really, so then it's kind of like just a play on characters and everything like that. Something that's been challenging for me is that I'm involved in other activities at the high school, such as tennis, so, and then that, on top of all my schoolwork, having to handle all of those, and in addition to that, all the time management, and the memorization of the parts, and it's just kind of a lot, but you know, pulled through, and it's, it's gone very well, so. I think one of the most challenging parts of this is like, my character, we've, 
worked with my director and tried to develop a Texas twang with my character. And it's really hard trying to pick up like a dialect when you're not familiar with it. And some lines work with it and some lines don't. I'd say definitely my favorite part of the process is getting to work with such a small cast because you don't really get that with the large stage musicals. And you've gotten to know each one of your cast members and you've got to make really fun like memories with them. I love the aspect of the small cast because it just brings together our ability to work together and also I love just seeing everything come together at the end and all of our hard work just really pay off. I feel like I've grown throughout this experience, especially with like line memorization, because it's so hard when there's not everybody there during like the production and whatnot. And we practice and we have to have our lines memorized and there's somebody else off like on book reading them out in the audience. But it's always so much better when you have like everybody together. I have grown as I have had to work through developing my character and with that along with having to work with other people and their characters, that kind of made me grow as a actress kind of myself and made me realize stuff about me that I didn't really know before. And it's been fun to get to experience that side of me. You should definitely get involved with the theater department because you'll meet so many cool people throughout your four years. Um, I still remember, I'm still friends with some of the seniors I had my freshman year. So it's definitely experience to just like try out and you don't even have to be on stage for the first production. You can be backstage and any, we offer so many different things in the department that it's just, you'll find a place that you can call home for the next four years. What I really love about our theater, theater program is there's just a place for everybody and you, were, you will always be welcome no matter what you choose to do or where you are because it's not, there's not like a hierarchy and nobody really overshadows anyone. Everybody just fits in perfectly and everyone's very inclusive and I love that about our theater program. You should come see the Pot Like Gravy Thickens because it's definitely not too mysterious that it will get you bored, but it's such a like fun show to watch that I feel like it will be enjoyable for anyone that comes. So my roles are, I have Walter, he is a narrator of the show and he kind of does audience interaction, stuff like that. And then I am Edward Worthington III, so I am kind of the main, it's his birthday party that everyone's at. And then I become the detective, Lieutenant James McMillan, at the end, second act of the show. I've never been in a play or musical before, and I really wanted to try my best in audition for as, as, as good as I could, I guess. I wasn't sure what I was expecting to get, but I was excited to try out something new because I've never been in a whole play before. So I like that I am learning how to kind of be different and like, different characters and learn like different sides that I can portray and like display to other people I guess that's it's been fun learning that I think I like the narrator Walter the best because he's kind of funny but he also he also like makes jokes with the audience and he can like pop up every now and then definitely memorizing because I have quite a bit of lines and different kind of accents and different voices I have to use for my different characters. So it's been a really challenging experience so far, but it's been fun trying to learn all the different people. <laughs> my favorite part is being around all the other people and practices and I like, I don't know, I like all the interaction that we have with each other and how we can help each other out and stuff like that. And it's been fun. I've grown a lot with realizing like I can, push myself to more than I think I can. I think I can, I first I kind of doubted myself that I could do all that I was expected to do, but I've done better than I thought I could, so I think I've grown in my self-confidence. I think someone should get involved because it, it brings you to a new like kind of environment in the school and all the people are welcoming and they're all friendly and they're all nice and it's just a fun time. Like, you also learn your play, but you also meet new people, and it's really fun to just grow in that department as well. I think someone should see this play because it is, it's a funny comedy that you can go see, and there's also audience interaction, so you could also help out with the play too, even if you're just watching, but I think you can also help support all the kids and help 
just show up for them and be, be there and watch and support them. So the show is April 14th, 15th, and 16th, the Friday and Saturday and Sunday. The Friday, Saturday is at 7.30, the Sunday is at 2. Um, and you can get tickets by going on the Speech and Drama website or throughout Grand, we put up posters and there's a QR code and it shows all the information on the posters as well. Love talking to the kids who are so excited about the hard work of putting on a performance. And it sure sounds like a fun show. Every year, the school enters their students for recognition, and stage manager Mallory Graves received an honor for the fall musical, Matilda. I got the outstanding achievement in a stage management position for the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards for last fall's show. Um, they let me know about this, I think, a month ago, um, and then it actually comes to air um, in May. So I'll go down to Des Moines, and I will um, be a part of the behind-the-scenes days in June for the um, festival. And it'll be a very fun environment to be with all the people that do the same thing as you. We apply um, through the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards, um, we submit a portfolio, we do interviews, and then they let us, and then they see our overall work for the show, um, and we get scored accordingly. Yeah, My plans doing? for next year, um, I'm going to the University of South Dakota, and I will be majoring in theater studies with a focus for theater management. When you go um, to interview for like a major in theater, you have to interview and um, they ask you like accomplishments and that was one of my accomplishments was I was like uh -huh, I got this award. <laughs> well, I actually don't know where I want to end up. I think the world of theater can take you anywhere and I really don't have a closed mindset of where I want to be. Congratulations Mallory on your award and break a leg next year at college. Tickets are on sale now for The Plot Like Gravy Thickens. So get yours purchased today and support these students. Stay tuned, I'll visit with Sarah Beth after the break. <laughs> 